can you give us a broad overview of the types of projects that fall under salmon recovery efforts and explain how civil and environmental engineers contribute to those initiatives? Sure. I think that there's a whole range of potential projects you can get involved in that have a benefit to the species uh, as a target anyway and it, it have a lot of other benefits to other values. But you can go watershed scale, be involved in planning efforts that are going to improve water quality or improve how we're managing the landscape. And you can get all the way down to something as specific and, and very common as a culvert replacement to improve passage into the watershed itself. As civil engineers, obviously we're working on infrastructure projects, uh, so you, you could have a lot of overlap in any of those areas. Easy ones are, you know, where are our roadways, where are our bridges, where are our pipelines? Those are going to cross waterways. They're going to have potential impacts uh, to the habitat. And so whatever we can do to improve those projects, provide what is needed to deliver that project for whoever you're working with or working with a client, a municipality, but also have uh, the environment in mind while you're doing that.